Okay.
everybody kind of knows each other in that in that scene. Would you agree that it is a scene? Yes, it's a scene. Would you agree that there's some kind of favoritism? Favoritism, for sure. Yeah. It's we we're speaking about money. Okay. So, for everything it's allowed. So, you love what you do, and it's a, you're passionate about it. Why are you partake in stuff like that? Because it kind of, do you think it takes away from your passion? Because it is more about money and it's more about a name more than it is about, I'm passionate about this. I don't give a fuck about this competition or this or that. I have a respect for it, but I'm doing my own thing. I'm the best bartender because I said so and I don't need someone else to tell me. Everybody working for having money. If I know having money, I'm not gonna pay my rent. Okay. So first of all I have to gain money. But after all this and after all the competitions and all the stuff, I think it's about uh, feeling my passion. It, it it really fits me and uh, I, I, I really feel good when I'm behind the bar. So what's my point? Making some progress, having a good time and paying my rent. Paying your rent, that's good. Um, not everybody can do that, so. And especially here, like, there's, in Athens, there's a lot of people going through distress. Um, poor people. I was told that there was, like, a, a, a cut in pay. 30% people lost their jobs. Yep. How does that affect, how did that affect you um, as a bartender? It really did affect me because of because these people coming in the bars and really don't care about having something good or some, something something with quality. They just want to get drunk with really less as less money as they can. Ah, uh, so getting drunk drunk for cheap. Yeah. So in that sense, they kind of took out the special. Being they don't care about your passion and uh, about your craft behind the bar. They only care about getting the booze and getting drunk. Now, is there a difference between being a bartender um, in London? They uh, certain people say the word barman or barwoman. They don't like the word bartender or they use the word mixologist. Is there a difference between bartender, mixologist? Yes, it's a, bit, a huge difference because mixologist is the guy who really is really specialized on one particular thing and works on this, not just making some drink and some cocktails. But you know, I'm not gonna say that I'm a bartender or a mixologist or a barman or something like this. Yeah. Okay. But there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Sure. If somebody was to write about you, sorry. If somebody was to write about you, and they have to give you a title, what title would you give them? Just to write, and just. They are from Athens, making some cocktails and drinks. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna read some articles about you and see what they what they name you. I bet they use the word bartender. And you're okay with that? Yeah. So you're 27, mm -hmm. making cocktails. You don't drink. Mm -hmm. You just taste. Yeah. How do you become that good by just tasting and not drinking? When you're not drinking, you have more clear taste than a normal drinker. What about when you need to pair a cocktail with dinner? With dinner. Or lunch, or? It's, it's exactly the same. It's more easy for me to pair a cocktail with dinner because I'm not drinking. But because you're not drinking, one could argue, how do you know this goes well with, with this uh, meal? Because you taste both and uh, you, your taste more clear than a normal drinker. So you, you, can, you can find the combination. But you know, the pairing, the food pairing, it's something really different because some people like to pair something spicy with something 
spicy or other people like to pair something uh, sweet, sweet and, and sour okay so it's totally different okay your style of cocktails you have a style maybe you're not gonna share sorry you're not gonna share what kind of style you have what kind of style hmm uh, I like uh, I like creating uh, no, I like reborn cocktails. Okay. So I take one glass of cocktail and I change the cocktail's DNA with uh, really similar DNA okay. and reborn and make it work in this moment. So when you say change the DNA, are we talking brands? We're like, talking okay, you about get... everything. So, you make a Negroni, you'll make a Negroni that's customized to the moment? Yes. Like if it's hot versus cold outside? No, no, it's not depending on the weather. But no, I'm just saying you said in and out, like for right. I moment. say about the ingredients. Okay. For example, you, you're not going to have the same Negroni that you had before 10 years because the vermouth changes. The Campari changes and the jeans also changes, but you can have other things like um, for me, you know, most of the times the, the girls asking for cocktails with vodka. So, really? are they Russian? Sorry? Nothing. Yes. Yeah, I have my meals in What happens with the food? Τι είχες σταγόνα μου. Τι ευρώ. 500 ευρώ. Τι κάνετε ρε. Άμα, χαλά, άμα κολλήσει όλο το μοτέρ, είσαι το είδες σήμερα ο Γιαννάκης. Μου λες τρελός. Το αυτιέξε. Σωρά. Το αυτιέξε ρε αδερφούλη. Τι κάνετε. Συνέντευξη μου πρέπει. Μάλιστα. Σωρά. Άρα